Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Sometimes when I don't have any plans to make something, for example that I don't have any plans to make some battery or material or something similar, then in this case I take my freedom and I experiment with different materials. Because you never know, maybe you will get something interesting out of it. The same I make with this battery which I will show you in this video. The battery which I will show you in this video is not actually rechargeable, but it's really powerful and also really interesting to make. So here I have two beakers, each beaker is filled with some solution. In this beaker I have 25 milliliters of 1 mole of iron 3 chloride. And in this beaker I have also 25 milliliters of 1 mole of potassium iodide. And what I will do, I will mix these two solutions together. In this case I will get the iron and potassium salt and solid iodine. The iodine in this case will settle down to the bottom. And then I will get something similar to this one. So this is the mix of these two solutions. And this entire system I can actually use in some gravity battery design. Because here on the bottom I have this iodine and here on the top I can place some zinc. In this case I will get some zinc iodine gravity battery. But before I will mix these two solutions together, I will fill the bottom of this beaker with some carbon foam. So this carbon foam I will place on the bottom of this beaker. Because this carbon foam will be the collector for collecting the iodine. Like so. So this one is we note uh, we note the carbon fat. So here on the bottom I have this pure iodine. And now I can put this one mole of potassium iodide into this beaker which is filled with iron 3 chloride. I put around 10 milliliters to this beaker. And now what I need to do is I need to wait that all the iodine will settle down to the bottom. And after a couple of hours you can see that most of the iodine was settled down to the bottom of this beaker. And because here on the bottom I have this carbon felt, uh, the iodine was settled down on the surface of this carbon felt. And now I need some electrode that I will make some connection to the carbon felt. And this I will do with some carbon rod. So, actually I will push the carbon rod on this carbon felt to make some contact and actually that's it and because I have here a little bit too much of the solution okay this will be better now this carbon rod I will push down like so that I get some connection between the carbon rod and carbon felt. Okay. And for the negative electrode, I will simply use some zinc. Like 
like so. I hope that you can see here I have my zinc and here on the bottom I have this carbon felt which collects the iodine and the voltage which I get is 1.4 volts And now instead of making some gravity cell design, I will make some static cell design with the same system which I make with the gravity one. And for my current collector, for the positive side, I will use this graphite. Here I have my carbon felt, which is actually in size of... Two centimeters by two centimeters. Here I have this electrolyte, and here on the bottom I have this Audi. And with this carbon felt, I will try to collect some of the Audi, which is here on the bottom. like so on the top I will put the separator and for the finish I will put this zinc and that's it and now let's see what I get The voltage of the cell is 1.45 volts and let's see the amperage. One7 amps, 1.8. Really nice. Very nice. So guys, this is the cell which I get with some random experimenting. So that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.